Oh my goodness, I feel so much better. <laughs> I, was, I was getting a little bit um, uneasy because my latest Animoto video, another easy button day for God, had 10 views and only one like and I was like, oh shit, it's a dud. You know, I know it's 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 really hard for for anyone to imagine this, but it it it's true. Every now and then, I'm, I I completely come up with garbage. It's I, I know, I know, but it's true. <laughs> and sometimes I have the sense to delete the garbage before anybody notices that it's there. But sometimes I don't. And, uh, <laughs> so I was on the verge. I was like, well, I don't know, because, you know, sometimes I think something is good and then it doesn't, it just doesn't fly. It, it, it crashes and burns. <laughs> and it's like, oh, nobody else could see the genius, the, the sheer, the sheer brilliance of my creation. Well, fine, if it doesn't, if it's not well received, it's just not going to be out there at all. <laughs> I'm joking. I am. I'm totally joking. I don't really live for um, how many videos my, how many likes my videos get. I don't even think about it. It doesn't even bother me. Not even remotely. I don't even think about it at all. In fact, it's the last thing from my mind most of the time is whether or not my videos, people like them. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Actually, um, I'm very flattered when people when people like them and I'm very flattered when people watch them whether or not they like them some some people dislike them and actually I find that flattering too because if a video or whatever makes somebody feel something you know it, it's a success in my opinion it's either it's either you feel it makes you feel hey, it's really good stuff. I agree with you 100%. Or it's, oh, it's garbage. You're so stupid. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know, but either way, it's a reaction. And and that's good. I think, I think the worst video is the kind that you're just like, trying to, <laughs> trying to watch it. It's like, yeah, he just kind of does enough. It's like, Okay, is it still playing? Yeah, it's still playing. Uh, just wake me up when it's over. <laughs> Although I have a few like that one, like that too. Especially when I'm on antidepressant medication and I sound like I'm really stoned. And it just, I have a couple where I tried to watch and I put myself asleep. <laughs> <laughs> like fast forward, nee, she didn't yet. Arr. So anyway, I'm happy that um my another easy button day for God has now received two likes. Woo! Actually, I I think I re re um I resurrect these ideas because I'm pretty sure if I scroll down far enough, there's another there's another video where I use the easy button image, the whole easy button thing again. I am pretty sure I've I've done this once before. So I mean that's just the way it is though. Uh, as a as a writer, one of the things I was taught is there's really no such thing as an original idea anymore. Everything's been done. You know, it's just whether or not you do it. You do a you put a, a fresh new spin into it. You know. So anyway, um, yeah, I just think it's cool. I had a couple people in the last two videos I did, not counting this easy button one, but at the last two two Animoto videos I did, tell me that they added a, added them to their favorites, and to me, that might be that might be the first time anyone's done that. It's hugely flattering. It's that's like getting a like on steroids flattering. Oh my god, you're not only like it, but you want to have it on your favorites list? That's just, that's too cool. So, I feel, I feel like I'm happy with, with, with my, um, whatever, <laughs> reception on YouTube. I, I, I enjoy having people like or dislike. The only thing I don't like that I really have tiny little tolerance for and somebody said it's probably because you were a former Christian 
and that's probably true. I have a very small tolerance for actually two things. There's two things, very small tolerance. People telling me that either I'm not a Christian or I never was a Christian or that I'm whatever. Basically belittling my experience that I went through for, for the majority of my life. Basically saying, ah, that was nothing. That wasn't real. That's, that's my biggest pet peeve. And now twice. People are laughing at the mall. See? The mall. Laughing at the mall. Oh, instead of spending, this latest comment, instead of spending all this time making videos, you should go do something about that hideous, ugly mall on your face. It's awfully nice when people give you these constructive criticisms, you know? This is two thoughts on the mall. One, probably the people making these helpful comments are theists so they're they're basically saying that God makes things that are ugly God God the designer and creator of all things that they that they proclaim to worship and think is so wonderful he must he must make things that are ugly or flawed right well the shoot that's not you know well, we've already decided that uh, we, we wouldn't want to worship this God anyway but hell if I knew that it was God who put the stupid mole on my nose I wouldn't worship him for that either but the other thought is they need to understand that you can't just remove any old thing you don't like on your body just because it's ugly. It might be nice if you could, but trust me, I've checked into it and the options are not so good. I could either have this mole or I could have like a crater where the mole is or even morph, well, actually. I could have like somebody stab me in the face, a scar like that. I look at it like this. Obama has a mole almost in the same place, so it's kind of presidential. <laughs> the only negative thing about it, besides the fact that I hate it, is I can't get my nose pierced because then I'd be symmetrical. <laughs> I'd have a lump on either side. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think it looks really stupid when you have one on either side when you have your nose pierced. That's almost as bad as a bull, the bull piercing. So, anyway, for all those people out there who want to comment on the mole, um, thank you very much. It's always helpful to know that I have it. Because, you know, it's good to have that reminder. Because every now and then I might forget that it's there. And we, we need to constantly be reminded that I have a mole that... You know, probably I would look better if I didn't have it, but there it is. <laughs> and actually, as a 50-year-old, not such a... doesn't really bother me as much because I've got other things going on that I would rather fix first than the mole. You know, like the double chin here. This is good. This is not good. This is really not good. I would much rather get rid of that. Or just... Oh, I get puffs under my eyes sometimes. Ah, oh, hate them. Some people get dark circles under their eyes. That's actually preferable than the puffs that you can get under your eyes. There's there's stuff you can do about dark circles. There's very little you can do about puffy eyes. It's like the worst of the two problems. So, makes you look tired even when you're not tired. So, you know, if I could do something about flaws on my face, the puffs that I get in my eyes sometimes would be also higher on the list than the mole. So, have we talked about the mole enough now? Okay, so the <laughs> I just have to question the spirit of somebody who would say that to somebody else. You know, it's like would you like it if your flaw be pointed out? And, you know, let's, let's put a spotlight on that sucker. And, wow. Would you like that? It's, I mean, I'm sure that the people that want to point out my flaws have flaws too. Maybe not right on the middle of their face, but somewhere, you know, maybe even more embarrassing. <laughs> So anyway, I'm glad that my Another Easy Button Day for God video has now a respectable two likes. I can I can be happy with two likes. I can I can get by with that. It's really not my one of my better ones. It's one of those videos I did this afternoon because I was kind of bored and I wanted to do one. So again, anytime anybody has any 
ideas for one, please pass it my way because I, I like doing them and I, I would love to try to do um, something that isn't a resurrection of one I've done before. So anyway, this has just been a kind of a another one of those um, blathering videos, but some people apparently like those, so there you go. <laughs> if you've been watching, thanks. I do a close-up of my mole right now as a, as a way to end the video, but I think I'll spare you. <laughs>